Vice President Kamala Harris went to Nashville today and met with the two state representatives there who were expelled from the General Assembly after demonstrating on the State House floor. Quite a situation. WGN Shannon Halligan has been following all the developments. She joins mm -hmm. us with the latest now. Yeah, some lawmakers in Tennessee are calling the expulsions of the two black lawmakers political bullying and racism. Vice President Harris condemned the GOP lawmakers as anti-democratic. Vice President Kamala Harris made a last-minute trip to Tennessee Friday in support of the Democratic lawmakers expelled from the State House. And so I want to start by recognizing the Tennessee Three. <laughs> Two of the three representatives were ousted for their roles in a protest the week before. The rally was held following a deadly shooting in Nashville that killed six, including three children. Vice President Harris received wild applause as she spoke to a crowd at Nashville's historically black Fisk University. And they understood the importance, these three, of standing to say that people will not be silenced. To say that a democracy hears the cries, hears the pleas, who hears the demands of its people who say the children should be able to live and be safe and go to school and not be in fear. Thousands of people chanted outside the Tennessee House chamber Thursday. This after Republicans expelled two Democratic lawmakers from the state legislature. We are still determined to speak up and to fight on anyhow. This is undemocratic. This is wrong. Civic leaders criticized the action, accusing lawmakers of racism. The two representatives ousted from the House are both black, while the third, who is white, survived the vote on her expulsion. This idea that he and uh, Representative Justin Pearson must apologize is a mindset set in white supremacy, a mindset set in that we as black folk are not on par or not peers to them. Republican leadership denied that race was a factor. GOP leaders said the expulsions were necessary to avoid setting a precedent that lawmakers' disruptions of House proceedings through protest would be tolerated, something others call undemocratic. This is a black eye on the state of Tennessee. It's an outrage to American democracy, and it adds insult to proverbial injury that the two black members are removed and the white member is not. What is that? That is not a democracy. That is not a democracy. The two expelled lawmakers may not be gone for long. County commissioners in their districts will pick replacements to serve until a special election can be scheduled. Some commissioners have said that they will vote to reappoint. However, Others have voiced their opposition. That would be an incredible move if it went right back to where it was. Yeah, we'll, we'll see be if interesting. That can happen. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Okay, thank you so much, Shannon. Let's get back.